Do you know where we're going? Right, right now, we, we have to hide. Arthur and I know a place. And Lucas, he's waiting at your chateau. All in good time. We're going to see Lucas again? <laughs> I hope so. I like Lucas. He's nice. Save your breath, Hugo. We're on the right track. Let's keep moving. We're not safe yet. She's useful. She is very, very useful. But what the hell are you doing with the Inquisition after you? What's so Last time we were in a forest, it's complicated. the rats destroyed it. Your brother. Or at least that's what we're led to believe. He really saved our lives. It was incredible. Hey, don't get all lovey dovey. He'll break your poor little heart. Uh, I, no. Hey, I'm in. Yeah, we're going to use it to cross. What? Is he always like that? He hasn't seen much of the world. This isn't the best moment to start. First one to the middle way. Hey, slow down. There's never really a good time to start. I'll do it. It's open. It's for crushing the wheat. Did I pick up all... Like, all the things I spoke about. The sterling coin and the declaration of war and the sickle, yeah. Those were all the curiosities we found in the previous chapter. Just wanted to make sure I definitely talked about them. Because they all come with a little bit of lore. How are we going to get across? By stopping it. And how are we going to stop it? We'll find a way. The current's slowing down, but not enough. There must be Hugo. Can you take care of it? What am I expecting him to do there? Over. You now, Melly. This is where we see if it'll hold up. Well, doesn't look like I'll be taking a bath today. I can't tell if I can call him away. Hold on. Okay, yes, I can. Go on, Hugo. Good. Okay. So he can hold that down. I imagine there's one on the other side. Yeah, there is. Amicia, you're not leaving without me, are you? I'm coming, Hugo. I'm just trying to find a way to get you across. <laughs> you sound like Arthur. Why? There we go. Okay. And there you go. See? Simple. We beat the mill. If the Inquisition make it this far, that'll hold them up for a while. Because apparently the Inquisition ain't smart. <laughs> I mean, if Lord Nicolas has anything to say about it. Like he said, he seems to be using the English in his Inquisition. Okay, now I have two workers' tools. But I really have nothing. <laughs> I'm out of fabric, I'm out of alcohol. Fair enough. We'll go through here. Come on. Are you trying to impress me or what? If you're wondering why I call him Lord Nicolaris, that's, that's a uh, that's a hot fuzz joke. Uh, if you like your Simon Pegg movies out there. The Aki Duck. Is that where Lucas is? I hope so. The Aki Duck. Is going to look like much. Why? This used to be a village, but it was reduced to rubble in just one night years ago. 
Some say there's a curse around these parts. Alicia? She's joking, Hugo. Oh, no, she's not. Since when do I say anything true, eh? I kind of want to explore these buildings. Do people live here then? Yes, but they left. Where did they go? Somewhere else. A bit There's like a us. chest in there. Yes, a bit like us. Oh. There you have found one of his herbarium. You know what that is? Hawthorn, I think. Nobody likes it because of the thorns, but it's good for the heart. Well, aren't you a fount of knowledge? Mummy taught me. You can teach me then. And will you teach me how to use the sling? It's a deal. Hawthorn. A thorny bush used to mark out the borders of gardens and properties. Hawthorn has become a symbol of a cautious hope. It is the subject of many legends, the most prestigious of which depicts as Christ's crown of thorns. When ingested as an infusion, it regulates the heartbeat and combats shortness of breath. Fair enough. I hope that's true. So there was a chest in this building right here. I want to go in there. Just a detour. There'll be lots of little detours. Never know. Villagers might have left something useful behind. I can't believe Hugo called the aqueduct an Aki duck. Hugo, what are you doing? Come here. Oh. Hugo? Hugo, look at me. Is it starting again? Your head? It's like... Somebody's going inside. My legs... My legs are shaking. Don't say he's been bitten. It's not the bite. It's something in his blood since he was little. I'll have to carry him. Climb on my back if you can. Come on. Sorry. Don't worry. If it's in his blood. What about you? I'm fine. Lucas is trying to slow the effects down. That's also why we're going to the chateau. Amicia. I'm scared. Of what, Hugo? What's in my head? Don't worry. We're all scared of what's in our heads. Here we are. Ain't that the truth? You'll be able to rest. At last. Ah, uh, no, let's, let's actually head in here. Help me lift this. I'm coming. Hugo, can you climb down, please? Trap door? Oh, yeah. Is this your house? It's a hideout, lad. It's meant for hiding out, not banquets with lords and ladies. Don't touch that. It's my brother's. That's worth a lot, that is. How long have you been living like this? Like ruffians and beggars, you mean? Family tradition. Our dad was a piece of rubbish. Tried to beat us one time too many, so we skedaddled. But you, you're almost royalty. Royalty? Can you see it? What does ha huh mean? I'm cold. Can't you see? Look at us. We've lost everything. What do you mean? Who's going to pay us then? What are you talking about? Ah. Your mate's Lucas. He said you're rich. Just forget it, alright? Take Arthur's straw mattress and when he finally gets here, we'll have a proper discussion. So they were going to try and... Yeah get some money out of us, but that ain't happening. They caught up. So, see anything? No, nothing there. Why 
Where does that go? Outside. Yes, but where? Just trust me. And your brother? He should have been here by now. Sorry. Don't give up on him just yet. Now, Arthur did seem like a useful type. He has a helmet. <gasps> Devorantis. What? Devorantis. So pizza and alcohol. Burns your face and melt steel. No one can keep their helmet on with that. Get some ready. Alright. Devorantis. You can now craft Devorantis. Ah, that's the green thing that Arthur was using. Hit him on the head with a rock. Go on. <laughs> Serves him right. It's been easy. Try to be a bit more enthusiastic with you. There's nothing over there. I thought there just might be something in the little nook. But oh well. I can now pick up that. throw a stone over there. Can I go out and get this? Yeah, I can. Hmm. I'm going to go ahead and try the Devorantis. Down you go. Oh, nice. We got lucky there. Two of them. There are bound to be more. We have to get out of here. We have to get back to the aqueduct. I know. Where's the Chateau d'Ambroche? This way. Follow me. I'll take that. Hmm. So it, it seems to cause. Uh, rust or like a mm, it does something to the helmet that's a little bit unpleasant I don't think it's just acid you see the lit portcullis over there that's our way out listen Amicia you have the sling so you go first Hugo you uh, keep a lookout and stay quiet alright understood they're still looking for me. Yeah, they are. Holy shit, they're coming that way. Okay. It's Prima Devorantis. Let's actually craft some. He's veering off. They have their backs turned. Making for the grass. This is not pleasant. I have a Somnum, but just one. If Deverantis wasn't so noisy. Sadly, it is. That guy, I can't see. What way is he face? He's facing left when that guy is walking away from us. And while he's walking that way, he starts to... Okay. So I'm keeping on the... On, 
the guy at 12 o'clock and the one at 3 o'clock. I'm watching those two. Because I kind of want them both to have their backs turned while I make for the next grass over. I want to use the Somnum at the guy at 12 o'clock. Then subtly make our way across the wall because that seems like the most legit walking away. Their timing is a little bit off. But I feel like they might sync up again in just a moment. He's going to start walking left. Yep. If I peek out, who can see me? Nobody. So I want to sneak up on him and use the Somnum. Whether that will be quiet enough, I have no clue. Stay here, waiting for your signal. Yeah. See, so he's there. He, this guy on R6, he's going to go to the far. He's going to go far away. While well, that guy is coming towards us now. I have the Somnum. Don't turn around, don't turn around, don't turn around, don't turn around. There we go. No, no, no! Shit. That was lucky. But now I'm exposed, and that guy is right there. Our next worry is the guy to the nine. I'm right behind you. I'm just starting to realise just how exposed we are on this side. So everything I do is still going to rely on that guy. So I need to take out that guy to the 9 o'clock. Cannot craft another Somnum. It would be incredibly useful if I could get to the far side of that torch. Like, literally on the other side of it. I just want to see, can this guy see us? He turns with his back to us. If I throw a pot, what's that going to attract? Just him? It will start to attract another. Okay. It looks like I can get over there with just a little bit of darkness still being there. Let's be careful not to actually throw it. Tiny bit, not much. If I start to prepare the sling, He's wearing a helmet, isn't he? Yeah, shit. If I step into the light, is that guy going to see me? Quite possibly. I think what's slightly unfortunate because the thing is if I use a Devorantis I'm going to attract all of them let's just be agreed on this I could 
get closer to that log. Maybe being close to him is actually safer. Or we can do nothing and just make for the gap while it's present. Tall grass, tall grass, tall grass. Okay. So he is now right there. I'm wondering if that guy... That guy is not going to see us, so we can go towards him. Uh, just how far? I don't want to get too close. I want to get to that. Nothing, nothing, nothing. I heard the kids made a right mess of the English. I've never seen an explosion like it. My ears are still ringing. We got the one who did it, though. A young thief who was helping in the rooms. He's being held at the bastion for interrogation. He should think himself lucky. If he didn't have Go the F away. He'd be little chunks of meat by now. Nothing to report. Good enough. Fuck off. Make for the grass directly behind us. So, still nothing? Probably just hiding. So they caught Arthur for sure. A lot of men looking for just some kids. And the Grand Inquisitor has been pretty tough on Lord Nicholas. Okay, so there's a guy now beyond R12. He's walking back and forth. That's as far as he goes. What do I need to cross a somnum? I need sulfur, I think. I don't think that was enough. I, I it's not sulfur I need, it's satellite. If I just kill him, no, he has a metal helmet. So it's not that straightforward. The thing is, is that I've come so close, I don't want to use a Divorantis. I can see that I can distract him just by throwing a stone. That would be the most cost efficient. Nope. I would have to throw the stone when beyond our 12 o'clock sir is, has his back to us. I don't want to move. Not while he can sit. There we go. That's an odd sound. I used the sling, didn't I? Oh shit, there are two. Get back, get back, get back. There are two. Yeah, he couldn't necessarily see him so we were lucky but that did not attract uh, nothing nothing here we could try our luck at heading back towards the grass up there this might not be the way we want to take There's a log just here that can block our view from the arsehole that saw us just moments ago. I've carried this pot for an extremely long time. Time to do its job. What was that noise? Nothing. <laughs> I need to calm down. Yeah.
Now I think if we poke out this way, can he see us? No, he can't. So I'm thinking we've got, we've still got a guy to our 12 and we have one to our 3. I'm thinking... I want to get to that wooden fence directly in, ahead of us. But I have to be careful with this guy behind us. I can see a pot. He will absolutely see us at some point. Sure of it. God damn it, this is particularly tricky. He has to see us. If we hadn't had to deal with the mess of the English camp, we'd have had him by now. I want to grab that pot. You might think the captain of the guard is scary, but the old man, believe me, when he's disappointed, he burns people alive just to take his mind off it. You must be pretty damn special, young man, to merit all this nonsense. It's not my fault. And he's humble, too. Okay, so I can now see that there is a guy in just under the canopy ahead. absolutely want to make for that tall grass. That guy has to see us. He's wearing a full helm. We will be forgiven. <laughs> Have I even come the right way? I have no clue. Yeah, proof in the pudding. There is two of them to distract. And it looks like... Even... If we keep going that way, there is one beyond the grass... Who are going to hear this? Where can I go? Because as soon as we distract them, we want to do one fell swoop all the way round. It's like, what's the best I can do to get both of them? There. Be right back. Check the blind spots, like we did in training. Mm, shit. Shit, I've just thrown it away. He's not coming any closer. That's pretty damn lucky. So... It was a false alarm. Out of pots. Oh, god damn it. I wish I could get one more Somnum. Oh, god damn it. I come the wrong way. There's nothing. I'm just wondering. I select Ignifer. I can throw an Ignifer. Hey, there it is again. Wait a minute. One fell swoop. We're just going to go right in behind him.
I kind of want what he has. What the hell is going on here? Yeah, there's that guy. There's something in front of him. I want it. It looks... I mean, it could just be fabric. For all I know. And worth nothing. So who's going to see us if we move in behind him? How long is he, is he even there for? Is it long enough for us to get across? Six or seven seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six seconds. I don't want to say, I don't believe that guy is far enough away to throw a Devorantis at. Is he there for longer? That's the question. We are so close. If I throw it away now, I'll cry. It's not that simple, is it? There's nothing to... Because the Ignifer needs to land on something. Not enough. I'll try and throw an Ignifer. I, um, I don't feel like it will be a waste. It might just create a flash and nothing else. Just fizzles and pops. I get it. Okay, to extend our time, as soon as he passes us, we're going. Yeah, because we had we only had six or seven seconds once he got to that part. Oh boy. So that's what you call that thing. The metal gate in a, in a stone wall is called a porcalis. Let's get out of here. Yes, please. Come on. Go ahead. So kind of you, Your Highness. Go on, get moving. What are you going to do to me? I think that would be Arthur that we just heard. Yeah, I think this was all that was in front of that guy earlier. It's Lucas. Oh, it's Lucas. It's not Arthur. Amicia, do you have any Devorantis left? Yes. Then go on. Knock his helmet off. Just give me a sec. Give me a sec. Head, please. Hey, I'm so glad to see you again. Hey, you look well? Yes, I was in a cage. Then there was a huge explosion. Boom! And then we went to Mary's house. She said lots of bad words. I heard Did she now? And what about you, Lucas? How are you? Uh, can we talk while we run, or we can sit down with some wine and some roast chicken and wait for them to come and kill us? What do you reckon? You're right. Let's get going. The chateau should be far now. 
Let's go. If the chateau isn't far, then they are not far. Seems like you've been through some tough times. You don't say. You forgot to tell us about the Inquisition. You wouldn't have accepted the deal. The one where your friends are rich. But we'll sort it out. I'll tell my brother that. What's all this? An accident? An Inquisition cart? The rats. There must be things we can salvage from inside. I don't see how we can get past. Oh, Amicia, I have something for you. It's a byproduct of Ignifio. Luminosa. You throw it into a pile of rats and... Anyway, you'll see. Here, take it. Luminosa. Saltpeter, alcohol and leather. Mix them together. All right. Creates a powerful source of light. Inventory is full. I can only have one of these. You can use it as a last resort to escape them if Luminosa is in your inventory. The cart's packed full of our chemical material. Makes sense. The Inquisition. They couldn't have got as far as the Macula without reading their chemical writings. I don't know what they're up to. But whatever it is, these carts will be useful. Is that the Ouroboros? Snake eating itself. Definitely looks like it. Still can't improve anything. We're one fabric short. Oh well. One would think there would be more rats. Finally. We're going to find out at last. I'll help you up. Yes. Let's go up the yucky duck. Hugo. It's aqueduct. Oh, aqua aqueduct. There you go. Nelly, where's your brother? I don't want to talk about it. Uh, all, all right. He's probably been caught. It's probably why they knew to come to the house. Maybe. Whoa. Well spotted. Who's going first? You. Okay. I'll take those stones. I'll take those stones. There we go. Climb up. Mm -hmm. All the mess a bunch of patchwork kids can do. Is that it? There's nothing here. Lucas, I... don't tell me we've done all this for nothing. No, no, no. Laurentius no. was smarter than that. It's an alchemist's trick. Gold is born from lead. The door shall only reveal itself to the one who has the key. Something like that. Mm. I prefer use your eyes before using your mouth. Who's going first? Nice one. Uh, Amicia? Come on then. We've come this far. That's my girl. In we go. bit cramped in here. Huh. Oh wow. Oh. Not bad. Is that the sea? No, it's water that's collected underground. Hey, there's a pontoon. People used to use this place. We're on the right track. I've never heard of it before. And the chateau? Where is it? Well, if you want to know, we'll have to get across first. I can use my stone. Well done. I'm wondering if we'll meet this Grand Inquisitor. Lord Nicolaus is certainly not the Grand Inquisitor. They were talking about this guy who likes to burn people for a living. A reaction ferry. A what? A boat that's propelled by a rope. You pull it by hand. There's a hand crank. 
There's a little path. What does it lead to? There's some ingredients. Fair enough. Won't complain. No doubt I've missed a fair few curiosities. Could you help me with this? All right. So two people go across first. This place is incredible. Yeah, it's not bad. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't have any wine and cheese. It would have been lovely. Melly, can you look after it? Lucas, come and help instead of sleeping. Yes, yes. The water's green. Well, that's because there are a lot of things living in it. They must be very cold. Once, Father took us to the lake at Tov, and I slipped and fell in the water. It was so cold, it made me cry. <laughs> I would have cried too. Oh, there we go. Boat awaits. Yes, she get, get in. I hope they can swim. Hold on tight. There you go. Whoa! I can't see any fish. Oh, that's because of the monster. What? A monster? Of course. The underground lakes are magical. Huge, ancient monsters hide in their depths. And watch out, they're very hungry. No, they're not. And if there were monsters, we'd see some big bubbles. <laughs> you got me. Mummy used to say that monsters are just those things... Those things to... Just those things to which we have never given a name. She told me that too. I would quite like to see a monster, actually. I think we've seen a fair few. Right, this is where we get off. Oh, it was too quick. I know, but it's someone else's turn now. There might be a whale. <laughs> a whale. Yes, but a little one. Why not? A shy whale that doesn't want to show itself. It's shy because it's small. But I'm sure it's pretty. Over to you! We're coming! It's alright. You can let go. Sorry, I lied to you. I thought that Amicia and Hugo might die. I'm scared. I forget it. It's all behind us now. But anything that takes my fancy at the castle is mine, all right? Fair enough. What were you saying? Things for grown up ears. All right, let's keep going. Okay. Anything I can take. Mm, I'm pretty much full on a lot of ingredients, actually. Stones as well. I'm pretty frugal in what I use. I've never made too much of anything, and I've never overextended myself. Not since, not since the village. Ah, uh, closed. Not for long. Make some room. It's done. It's a marvel no one's ever fallen through the holes in the ground. Oh, there you go. Of course. I hadn't missed them a bit. What is this place anyway? It's... Oh, it can't be. I have to see this from closer up. The... Uh. The pit. What, Lucas? What's going on, Lucas? It's a defense system. Like a castle. Something. And? How does it work? Easy. The radius boosts the right. Could be useful. Who built it? I don't know, but it looks ancient. Come on, Lucas. Let's take a look. Right, Melly. While the boys are daydreaming, we should get going. Who built this? Some, uh, some... What's the matter? That hanging brazier can slide the length of the trench. Lucas! That one, the other way, and... Slow down! Someone built this? Mm. 
You're saying the plague itself is man-made. Go on, into the pit. We have to get to the other side. All right, come on. There's going to be something in here, so I'm going to be keeping my eyes out. Closed. Melly, can you open it? No. Maybe from the other side? Just look how many are in there. If this is as old as Lucas is saying it is, then someone unleashed the rats on the village. Come. That's how it has to be, right? Um, Lucas is just staying there. Uh, Hugo, rather. I'm coming. Something, something, something. Just ingredients. This, uh, the tone now is very ominous. We want Luminosa. Uh, I want to throw it in there. Oh no, I need a uh, Ignifer. Do you think we could get that down? Well spotted. Oh, there's a lot of bloody rats. Okie dokie. Uh, we're not going down there. All right, I'll take care of the door. And I'll push the rat trap. Yeah, it's, e it's even my thinking that someone has just gone and unleashed the rat pra the rat plague itself by capturing all of these rats and then putting out the fires. That way the rats escape. It's ancient, so the rats have been a problem for a long time. Or someone just really wanted to protect this place from the rats. Lucas says it's ancient. This rat trap has been here a long time. So one has to think that the rats came before this place was built. It's getting very yeah. curious now. Maybe it's the right one. I just hope there are no rats behind it. Good thinking. Melly, need a little help here. On my way. Come on! I'm starting to get fed up of all these doors. That's the rain. Thank God I was... Whoa. It really exists. Chateau d'Ambroche. It's amazing. I had a moment of doubt, but that... That's the sort of alchemist legend I like. Come on, let's take a closer look. Something's not right. The music is way too ominous. Yes. I think what we need to go is uh, that way, but that music was way too ominous coming out of it. Is that supposed to be the miracle remedy they talk about? Vinegar of the Four Thieves. What the hell? This is a particular widespread legend of the Four Thieves, who found a way to plunder contaminated houses without being stuck by evil themselves. When they were finally stopped, the robbers were promised not to be burned at the stake if they revealed their secret. They agreed. 
making the details of their mysterious recipe public, and they were hanged on the spot. The effectiveness of their recipe remains highly questionable. Literally. No, I won't burn you. Just tell me your recipe. Oh, thank you very much. I'll hang you instead. See, I said you won't be burned. Well, the way of executioners, I guess. Ah, oh, fuck my life. I don't see her. I don't see how. Whoa! Did you see that? The lightning bolt. They're afraid of lightning. Let's try it. Are you kidding? Well, we're gonna have to run, but there's no light source. We can't get too close. Go. No, run! This is crazy. Okay, we both got in. Never again. A building, unbelievable. People used to live here. Well, very high up. Don't worry, Hugo. Shit. Far away. Too far to get there in one go. Way too far to get there in one go. How far can I throw Ignifer? Not far enough. Uh. Okay, I can think I can see. Well, fuck. Shit, 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 shit. Nope. I thought I could jump down onto that fence. Okay, let's prime Ignifer. Throw, throw. Everybody up. I'll help you. Yes. Is everyone all right? Did we make it? Really? We did. Yep. We're here. We have everyone. I was waiting for roll call. God, that violin. Oh, it's even bigger from here. Let's get in. Come on. I can't see anything over there. How are we doing? Whoa. Huh. Incredible. That tower over there. It's the living quarters. It must be several centuries old. It looks like it's dry, but there's a pit in the way. It's full of rats. It's another trap. There has to be another way to get through. Barely using the sling these days. Okay, I can craft a fair few Ignifer. Let's keep it at eight. Might need to use everything for something else. There's a door just here. Locked. And that is rubble. And something tells me down isn't precisely the way to go. Can you take care of it? Yes. This thing's really old. Oh, there was something alive in it. It's open. They all decided to meet here, it seems. So we can get the rats to move. Lucas, Hugo, stay out of the ring. The whole chateau is one big rat trap. Why? Come, Hugo. Ready, Melly? As long as we get them out of the way. Come on. The siege of Chateau d'Ambrage. Two girls versus thousands of rats. 
This battle will go down in history. Look, they're moving. Going all the way with this. Definitely looks. Oh no! Let go. There we go. We should be able to reach the central section now. Yes, that's a good first step. I'll let you go first, because rats are your thing. <laughs> Thanks a lot. There's a chest there. I think no, just a crate. So rats are whose things now? Oh yeah, you just you just sit there. Girls will do everything. Uh, I think I'm safe if I head this way. Just want to see if I can light that. Not from here. Oh, there we go. It looks like that's on some kind of gear system. Hey, there's some kindling behind you. Ah, yes. Go on, I'm with you. Great, I feel better already. Nothing else around me. Let's climb the ladder. I'm going to need Melly to push that. What precisely does this do? Hey, look at that! Oh. Okay. Into the pit they go. Well, I guess that's what the pit's for. Ah, oh, the bracy is coming back by itself. Melly, can you get to me? I'm coming. Can't wait to get up there. Look at them, swarming like nobles at the king's court. But it's our castle. That is definitely a lot of rats. Push down that drawbridge. This whole thing is one right. big puzzle. These ones have to be driven into the pit too. And of course they're on the wrong side of the brazier. I'm gonna have to go down and see what's there. Alright, I'll cover you with the brazier. Let's just push it, see what we get. Managed to push some in there. I'm putting my life in your hands, you know. All in a day's work, my lady. Whenever you're ready. Oh boy. There we go. Can you do it? All right. Wow. <laughs> it could do with a bit of grease. <laughs> Would you rather be down here? I'm fine. I'm just warming up. I can get up on the ramparts. Go on then. We're going to make it. Hugo will be safe. We'll all be safe. Oh boy. Okay, I can now go that way. Climbing up this way. Wonderful. Melly, I'm clearing the outer area. They're coming your way. All right. There are so many of them. We'll never clear a path that way. Right. We need to clear the whole courtyard. Let's get on with it then. I'm already soaked anyway. Still kind of curious. This whole 
thing is making very little sense, but I'm sure it will clear up. Okay, so they're not going to go any further than there for that torch there and that one right there, the two braziers. Let's see if there's anything for me over here. Ah, uh, yes, there is. Workers' tools. Now we have four. There's still the odd few. She can't quite get here. There you go. Into the pits with you. Yes. There are still rats down there. I'm going to need the brazier. If I push this one back. All right, here we go again. Yes, are you all right, Hugo? <sighs> Don't worry, the storm will drown out our voices. Soon we'll all get to see the tower. <sighs> I think this is what I wanted. Nelly is now down here with us. Whenever you want. <sighs> the bridge. We'd better lower it. And so, Misia the Amazon and Meli the Stealthy <laughs> conquered the Chateau d'Ambrage. <laughs> You've read too many books. I... Come on. We still have to clean up the area down there. We're going to need the brazier from the ramparts. I'll cover you with this. Still one more to light. I'm going down. Uh, uh, what is it? Nothing. It's just a crappy old lever. Nelly, you always know the right thing to say. It's going to be alright. Once it gets all the way there, it's going to dart back. Imagine, we could all live here together. I'm more of a Stella girl, you know. How am I going to get up there? You need a ladder. But the damn rats are everywhere. I don't know. Very funny. I know what I need to do. Uh, let's see. We're going to have to get that Ignifer first. This stick will only last for so long. It would have been troublesome if I made my way here and then that torch wasn't lit. Wonderful. Drop that. Up we go. That's the gate further in. Nearly cleared the whole way. Don't think there's anything in there. Nothing glowing, so that's good. So, off we go. One more push with the brazier. Oh, that's brought chaos over here. I'm going to need you. I'm coming. All right, here we go again. This is how you conquer a castle. This is how you get sick. No, not in my version of the story. Earth could be next. Do I need 
need to craft anything. I can now craft a Somnum. There we go. We're now prepared for all situations. Where's the chaos? Where are they? So they're all in there. So we now need to move that one. Oop. Starting to dodge into things. Come on, we're almost fucking there. <laughs> With these noble words, they readied themselves to recover what was rightfully theirs. A home. Stop it. Come on, I'm sure there's a cellar for you here somewhere. Amicia, it's not that simple. You don't know me. All right, I understand. A little bit fearful they're getting a bit cocky. Our victory, would you mind if we get out of the rain, please? Right, to the tower. Yes, come over to the fire and warm up. It's huge. We'll have time to explore tomorrow. This is our home now. 